I'm doing in Japanese way. <laughs> okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Masako Ganaha, and I'm from Japan, Okinawa. Uh, I think many of you have heard of Okinawa. Uh, it's a little island located in the uh, southern part of Japan. And I've been visiting in Netherlands for the first time, and it's been one month and a half. And I, I think you are probably wondering why I am standing here. So let me introduce myself first. I grew up in Okinawa, and I got um, really good education from my father. He is strongly anti-communism, and the first thing I learned from him is that communism is poison. It's very dangerous. <laughs> And uh, he said he vaccinated me with anti-communism vaccine. <laughs> That's why I am doing this work right now. And um, in Okinawa, we have big American base, marine base. And many times, our local newspaper focus on American base in the ways of anti-America. And they are saying they are colonizing us, but they are doing in favor of CCP. And I learned from my father that we cannot trust news media at all. On <laughs> but there is only one thing that we can trust in newspaper. That's the date. <laughs> so the reason why I came to Europe is because Japan is no exception but suffering the under, under the attack by CCP and, of course, globalization. Japanese government is, of course, puppet of world, uh, world self-elected leaders that we didn't elect at all. And so I came to Europe to research how the anti-globalization movement is going in Netherlands, and I would like to visit many other places. But so far, I got so many good opportunities to interview great people who are fighting for your country. Of course, I learned that FPD since I got here, and today I'm so amazed to see so many people, Dutch people, fighting, fighting for your country and your family. Even though going back to the history, we were enemies, but today we can fight together against strong um, enemy. We have common enemy now. So uh, I'd like to explain what's happening in Okinawa so that you could see, maybe you could detect what's happening in your daily life because threat is hiding in every corner of your life. Okay. So my activity, my work started to protect my land from CCP. If you look up on internet, Okinawa, and if you probably type China, then you could find many articles that China is claiming Okinawa and Senkak Islands, maybe some of you have heard, the little islands that is, of course, the land of Japan, but China is claiming that it's theirs. And this morning, I looked up a, uh, one of the uh, conservative newspapers in Japan. We have few conservative medias, but it's reported that a CCP Coast Guard ship is violating our territory water, and 24th, August 24th was the consecutive 131st date that they violate, they came to conti contiguous zone, water zones. In other words, fishermen from Okinawa, we cannot go fish anymore, because if we go there, then CCP would chase us. So it's the uh, fact, but they are doing this in broad light, but our government is heavily manipulated by CCP, so they do not warn us at all. And currently, we have local go governor election, 
and our current governor is pro CCP. So one time when Chinese Coast Guard violated our territory water, and of course our Coast Guard, guard Jap Japanese Coast Guard, uh, warned CCP. But the reaction of our government was Japan should not disturb their patrol. That's the situation in Japan. Okay, so I should not go into to details. So I'm going to explain what's happening in Okinawa. And please uh, think those techniques are heavily studied for long decades. It's like an art. It's like magic. So people are easily manipulated if you do not know their technique. First thing is, of course, divide and conquer. So if you look, for example, Okinawa and United Nations, you would see that United Nations, they are giving the adv adv advices to Japan that Japan should recognize Okinawa as independent country and Japanese Okinawan people as indigenous people. That's the product of CCP's information operation. In other words, I'm Japanese. G, I'm, I, am G, I am Japanese in, from the blood level. But CCP is trying to make me say I'm Chinese. Maybe you will laugh about it, but that's the truth. So in 2015, one of the heavily manipulated government, not the current one, but the before, he went to United Nations Human Rights Council, and he gave a speech saying that Japan is violating the um, Okinawan people's right to self-determination. If you use the word self-determination, the idea that Okinawan people is not Japanese is hidden. So it, was hu it caused huge debate. But I knew he was going to do this in the be beforehand. So I went to UN, and actually I gave a speech to counter his speech. So we could stop UN telling that Japan should uh, recognize Okinawa as indigenous people's country, but it's happening every year over and over and over again. So what I want to tell you is that there are certain elements that CCP or globalists, if they want to take over your country, they first have to eliminate what's stabilizing. For example, in your country, farmers, they are self-grounded, and they, they know the rule of nature. And they are the strong part of your country. So if you <laughs> So if the, if the globalist or CCP wants to take over your country, then they will specifically target farmers, because they are the ones who are the fund, funder. Found, founding part of Netherlands. I'm sorry, my English is so terrible, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. We do. <laughs> Thank you. So in other words, what's happening in my country, being the case Okinawan people is targeted, and in your country, farmers are targeted, those two look very uh, far apart, but that's the, uh, that's, has the component that stabilized the country. Because Okinawa was the land that America and Japan fought on the ground. So many people get hurt, and there are so many traumas. So CCP noticed if they were to deploy propaganda, Okinawa is the place. That's how their rule works. So we should uh, not be easily controlled by the hurt, hurt, uh, hurt feeling news. For example, American soldier raped Okinawan women. These things, we sh it should not be allowed. And of course, the soldier has to be uh, maybe hanged or have this strong um, 
punishment, of course. But that cannot be the reason to take, get rid of American base. That means CCP would gladly take Okinawa. That's their first step. If they want to go for Okinawa, they want to take over military. That's how they do it. OK, so that's the divide and conquer strategy. So now, of course, people here understand what's happening. So you love farmers, correct? But <laughs> and I do too. But people outside of this conference room, they are heavily like um, mass psychosis. So I interviewed one of the women, and she said, I am eating less meat because I do not want to pollute the uh, environment. I, I was stunned to hear this, but people are saying that's how good the information operation goes. And one thing, I am uh, kind of telling you what's happening, but I should, I should be careful also. Recently, I read an important book to learn um, psych mental psych. Uh, am I exceeding the time? Sorry. Uh, am I exceeding the time? A little bit, yes. A little bit. OK, I'm going to wrap up. OK, so okay, one, one thing. Everybody here, even people who woke up and participating in FPD event, we are target. And because th those methods directly affect your nerve system, so people, we cannot, um, we cannot sleep without phone handling, correct? They directly work to work to our nerve system. So OK, I, I should wrap up. OK, so I would conclude in short sentences. And um, I, OK. OK, so we should be aware that China is already here. I saw Confucius Institution. You need to get rid of it. And your government is trying to. <laughs> and your government is trying to participate road, one road and belt initiative. That's a huge mistake. We should force them to stop organ harvesting. Then we can come to the table. That's what we should say. We should always be offensive to them. They are the one violating people's rights. OK. And um, the lastly, because I got a chance to talk in front of you, I would like to tell you one more thing. We are going to huge famine. CCP knows it. They are monopolizing the fertilizer and food. So we have to be prepared. And it's coming. Uh, Energy-wise, there are so many things, but for us to survive, we must prepare. And there, there is famous war correspondent Michael Yang. He is a honor of guest today. I'm learning from him a lot. If you, if you want to protect your family and your country, you have to prepare for coming famine. And for, the re for reasons, please read his article. <laughs> and, OK, lastly, I really like people in Netherlands. You are going Dutch to protect your country. And we are going Japanese. And Netherlands first, Japan first, America first. We all need to come together and confront this huge enemy. But if we do not give up, we can win. And we have to uh, stand up by ourselves. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> En daar ben ik zo ongelooflijk trots op. Ik vind dat.